as teachers, we have huge power to build joyful experiences around books. However, we also have power to take the joy out of reading. In everything that we do, we have a chance to do something with reading. And either we're either gonna bring kids closer to reading and to develop a bigger love for reading, or kids are gonna go further away from reading. And it's our job to make sure that our kids can fall in love with reading, that they have positive experiences around books day after day, year after year. The, the first thing you see when you walk into our building on the left-hand side is this greatness wall and it's filled with our amazing students. My principal changes these pictures monthly. So every month at the beginning of the month you'll see a big log jam as kids see, look I'm on the greatness wall, look I'm on the greatness wall. And as you walk to lunch you see all of these beautiful murals of the books that we share. That's our canon. The books that the students at Parm Elementary love and hold in their heart. And this is in the bathroom. We just want words and books and the love of that to be everywhere. Every time our second and third grade girls go to the bathroom, they see this. Hopefully that's a message that they can hold in their hearts. Our doors on all of our classrooms are just decorated beautifully. Our PTA has come in. They did this one weekend and we all came in the next day and all of these things were decorated. They figured out like a book that the teachers loved and they surprised us with these amazing doors. We know the importance of book access and kids having books in their hands. We have to find ways to make sure that kids have access to books. Like this is what, kid, what classrooms should look like. Kids should have the opportunity to be reading books that they want every single day. Classroom libraries should be well stocked. They should be fun and beautiful and inviting and places that kids want to go. Every time a new child is born in our community that has a student at our school, we send a book home. We put a book in the lounge, we all sign it and we send it home with the brother or sister. If we want our kids to be readers, we have to lead by example. I want my kids to love books so much that they care about what books win awards. They care about which books win awards. This is Alan, and Alan struggled with school. And Alan came to our school in third grade in my class and walked in, he saw all the books, and he was not a fan. Every, every experience he had ever had in his life around reading was negative. He was held back a year, so he's now in grade with his older, his younger brother, who is a very skilled reader. He's always pulled from class. Reading has nothing but negative moments for him. And then we did the Mount Caldecott unit, and he fell in love with Deborah Friedman's Shy, and he was and he wanted it to win so bad, and then it did it, and he was devastated. When I, I saw Alan, he was in fourth grade last year. I saw him in the hall last February, the same day that the Caldecott Medal was announced. I said, Alan, how you doing? He's like, Mr. Sharp, I know the call the cop was today. Who won? Like, he didn't want, like, I know. <laughs> he goes, he goes, did Deborah Friedman win for this house once? And I said, Alan, man, I'm sorry, it, it didn't. And he just shook his head and he walked back to his class and he opened the door and he turned and stopped. And he goes, you know what, Mr. Sharp? I'm going to grow up and be on the call the cop committee and make sure they get it right. They just, it's just amazing when we're a community of readers, good things happen. We have a responsibility as educators to make sure that our kids have all the books, all the books that we can possibly put in front of them because we never know which book is going to change their life.